Hello, everybody. Welcome to Gotta Be Handmade. I'm Linda. I'm the YouTube personality behind the Gotta Be Handmade channel. I bring attention to handmade artists through my social media platforms. I invite you to join me on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagrams, all at Gotta Be Handmade. Now, today we have joining us Thomas. Thomas is a fantastic glass artist who creates wonderful blown Christmas ornaments. Hello, Thomas. Hello, Linda. Thanks for having me today. Thank you for joining me. Now, Thomas, how did you get started with your glass uh, art? Well, I took a class in college uh, back in 94. Um, so I've been blowing glass for about 22 years now. And um, I went there to play basketball. And I'm pretty tall. You probably can't see that now. Um, so I went to college to play basketball. I had no idea the school had a glass blowing program. And um, I walked by the studio one day and saw people blowing glass and I thought to myself, I need to, I need to do that. So um, I ended up um, playing basketball in college for a couple of years and then um, stopped playing just so I could uh, take a turn at glass blowing and it's uh, worked out. So the rest is art history. Yes, it is. <laughs> I love your Christmas ornaments and we'll talk about those in a minute. But you have so many other products that you create from glass. Did you bring any to share with us? I sure did. Um, so I, uh, like you said, make lots of different things mm -hmm. um, from little um, glass pendants. Um, like this. Yes. Um, so I'm taking the uh, blown glass pieces and fusing them together to make um, the pendant. Um, I also make um, some large uh, vases. Um, oh, the vase the is gorgeous. That is Thank you. beautiful. So um, I really enjoy photography. And so I will um, go out on a hike and take a picture of a, a waterfall or something like that. So this is from my Cascade series. So um, I have far into the glass. Yeah. I'm not sure how well this presents itself, um, but I've carved away this outside layer here to reveal this blue glass on the inside. So the color, but also the marks mimic water flow. Yes, it does. It looks like water yeah. flowing through the rocks. Yeah. And, um, and then I have this little vase here. So it's, um, I use uh, glass chips and powders to create the patterns that I fuse on the surface, so it has a nice ornate pattern um, on the piece. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Well, thank now, you. Thomas, thank the you. one that yes. has the water flowing through it, what's the price of that uh -huh. Um, That one's uh, $360. It's beautiful. So it's a little, you know, a little more expensive. It's, um, you know, more decorative and functional. It is uh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That is beautiful. Now, how long does it take you to make those pieces? Like the first one with the water flowing through, how long did it take you to make that one? Um, it takes about a week altogether. Um, mm. The blowing process is one step. Um, before I begin, I lay out the uh, glass chips and powders on a, on a plate. Mm -hmm. um, and and arrange those colors in the configuration that I want. And, um, and then I'll blow the piece. Um, and then after it cools down, I'll come back and I'll sandblast the surface to give it the matte finish. And then I have a diamond wheel. Um, so a wheel that turns on a, on a spindle. Okay. And I'll carve okay. away the outside layer revealing the, um, the glass underneath. And that um, much like working with wood, so, you know, you start with a really um, rough grit and grind it away, and then you have to come back and grind it again to smooth out those rough lines. So um, the blowing part is kind of the, 
um, the easy part, if you will. And then the grinding and the cold working, we call it, is the, um, you know, more difficult, lots of, uh, you know, time involved in doing that. So that's really what, you know, what takes the most time. Yeah. Um, and I can only really grind things for a certain period of time before, you know, my hands fatigue. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Thank you. Now the the pendant, when we uh -huh. uh, purchase the pendant, will we get the the chain or whatever it is on as well? Yes. Yeah, so it, it comes with a, a rubber cord, um, as you can see here. Oh. It's uh, about eighteen inches, eighteen inches long. Oh. Um, so that comes with it. Now, what's the price um, of the of the pendant? The pendants are forty dollars. Okay, all right. It is beautiful. I just love Thank it. You. Thank you. Now, where can we purchase your glassware? Um, you can purchase things on on my Etsy page, um, and that's um, www.etsy.com. I think backslash. Black backslash That's shop backslash uh, Thomas Spake Studios, and that has uh, two S's in there. Oh. Um, or you can go to my website, uh, thomasspakestudios.com, and there's a link, um, buy online, and you can buy it there. Um, and I also have about 30, uh, 35 galleries around the, um, around the country where you can um, buy my things as well. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I think that is amazing. Your pieces are amazing. I am a fan. I just love them. Well, thank you. Thank you. Now, do you have anything planned special um, that you're coming up with, a new product or something that you're working on that you can share with us today? Um. Well, I have... Um, I have a new uh, a new series. Um, this is a vase. Um, oh, it looks like landscape. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So this is uh, for my horizon series. Oh my goodness! And um, and so I flatten the pieces to act uh, act like a canvas. Um, and so, like I said before, I'm looking at um, a lot of photographs that I take, and this one is actually inspired by. Um, I'm in Tennessee, uh, outside of Chattanooga. Okay. And so okay. this uh, this piece is inspired by the um, Cades Cove over in the Great Smoky Mountains. Oh my goodness! It's breathtaking. It Thank is you. just breathtaking. Oh, Thomas! Now, how much is that piece? That one is uh, four hundred and fifty, so it's a little little more expensive, um, but it's. Um, it's a decent size. It's probably um, uh, maybe 10 by 10 inches. So it's, you know, fairly good size. It's breathtaking. Do, do your you. customers actually use the vases or do they just display the vases because they are wonderful pieces of art? Well, you could certainly use them um, to put flowers in. Uh, glass is, um, is non-porous, so water's not going to leak out or anything like that. Um, so I have customers that, um, you know, love putting flowers in them. Mm. Um, but, you know, they can also, um, you know, just be decorative. You know, if you walk downstairs in the morning and, you know, you see this vase and it makes you smile and it brightens your day up a little bit, I think that is plenty functional. You know, if, if a piece of art makes you happy, then it's, you know, that's all the function it really needs. It does, especially handmade art. Yes. It really does. It does bring a smile. And to know the time and effort that you put into your work, it is exquisite. Thank you. I really appreciate you joining me today. Now, before we well, I really enjoyed it. Tell me one more time where what's your website address? Okay, um, I sell on Etsy, and that's um, www.etsy.com. 
facebook.com backslash shop backslash Thomas Bake Studios and my website um, thomasbakestudios.com and there's a link there um, to buy online um, and then um, just like I said several galleries um, around the country you can buy my stuff there too it is exquisite I love all of your work. And Thomas, before we end, I just got to ask you about your Christmas ornaments. Now, when do okay. we purchase those? Do you have them available all year or only at Christmas time? Um, I sell them all year long. I have them, um, you know, people buy them for, um, you know, Mother's Day, um, I have, uh, you know, some are different themes. I had a Mardi Gras ornament um, that, uh, that did pretty well for, you know, for Mardi Gras. Yes. So, you know, the green, yellow, and purple. Um, and and then, so, you know, I sell them a lot more at Christmas time, obviously, but people buy them for, um, you know, for birthday gifts, for um, housewarming gifts. Um, so really, they sell really well all, all year long, and they're not really terribly expensive. So you know, they might make a nice you know gift for um, you know for saying you know thank you or I love you, and you know, so it's just a nice you know nice That's gift for good. any time of year, really. Um, but I have um, so here's okay. one right here. Um, so I make a round one. But I also make. Um, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that is beautiful. Your own you. ornaments are just as beautiful as the rest of your glasswork. I wish you the very best with your business. Continued success. I'm a big fan. Well, thank you so much oh, for having I me on today. Oh, I thank you for joining me, and you have a blessed day. And everybody, I'm going to put the links to Thomas's Etsy shop and his website under the video as soon as it downloads. And remember, for the best, it's just got to be handmade. Bye-bye.